Hi guys! Today I'm reviewing the O-Cedar Microfiber Mop and Bucket System. You'll get this bucket with a handle. There is a max line inside, 6 liters, so don't fill above that. This is the wringer where you put the mop and it'll wring out the excess water. Press the foot pedal to work the wringer. The bucket measures 11 inches wide, 19 inches long and 11 inches in height. It feels very light. This is the microfiber mop head and it measures about 12 inches across. You also get the handle that's extendable. Turn it counterclockwise and you can extend it. Turn it clockwise to tighten it. You can adjust it to different lengths. Whatever length you want, just stop and turn it clockwise to tighten. It can be adjusted from 22 to 36 or 36 to 48 inches. This is the plastic part that the mop attaches to. There is an arrow right here and that's the direction you want to mop in. To attach, just snap this directly on here. Push all three places until you hear the click. Then you want to attach the handle to the mop head. Just screw it in. This is the handle fully extended. It's about 48 inches. I'm 5 foot 3 and this will be comfortable for me. But if you're very tall, it might be a little short for you. I don't have to bend over to mop, but if you're very tall, you'll probably have to. You can use this mop on tile, hardwood floors, and laminate floors. Before you mop, it's a good idea to vacuum or sweep up the floor. The mop will pick up hair and small particles, but it's just going to keep moving it around unless you put the mop in the bucket in the water and bring it out. I'll use the mop on my hardwood floors in the kitchen and dining room. I filled water almost to the max line. Now I can fit this in my kitchen sink. My sink is really large at 22 inches. If you have a smaller sink, of course you won't be able to fit this in the kitchen sink. You'll just have to fill it in your bathtub. For regular cleaning of my hardwood floors, I just use water and vinegar. I'll just pour a little bit into the bucket. Put the mop in the water. Put it in the wringer and I'll step on this a couple of times. The mop needs to rotate so make sure you have a loose grip on the handle. You can put whatever cleaning solution you want in the bucket except for bleach. There is a splash guard here so you should not get splashed with any water. So that wasn't enough. I'm just going to press on the pedal a couple more times. There's still water. How many times you press the pedal down depends on how dry you want it. For hardwood floors, you do want it pretty dry. I think that's good. I'll move the bucket out of the way. It's not that heavy to move. Remember when you mop, the arrow should be in front. It doesn't seem very hard to move around. One thing to remember, after you wring the mop out, make sure you just give it a little shake so it fluffs back up and doesn't sit in one ball. There's some hair. And it's picked up some little particles, but since I did vacuum the floor, um, there's not much on the floor. It's just whatever dirt is on the wood. 
I don't know if you can see this, but there is hair in here and some of the hair does get trapped within the fibers, which is good. But if you get a lot of hair and particles on the fibers, it's best to wring this out again and then mop. Otherwise, you're just going to move the hair around the floor. I'm just going to wipe the floor with a paper towel to see if there is any dirt on the floor. The mop did a good job because I don't see any dirt on here. Also, the floor seems to be drying pretty quickly. It just takes a few minutes. Besides the part that I already dried with the paper towel. Now I'll mop the dirtier part of the floors, which are in the kitchen. On the screen, my floors probably look very clean. It's because of the lighting. They're not filthy, but they do need a good mopping. There's a dirty spot right there. And now it's gone. And you can also get under things like your refrigerator. Because of its shape, you can get into the corners. I didn't vacuum under here, so it's moving around all the little particles. More hair, lots of hair actually. Under the oven is um, usually where you find lots of stuff. The parts of the floor that I already mopped by the dishwasher and the corner there, they're already dry and I don't see any streaks. These are my living room hardwood floors, they're oak. A lot of hair, of course, and some small particles because I have not vacuumed in here. Just so you have an idea of what this mop can soak up, I'm going to pour some Worcestershire on my floors. And thankfully it soaked it all up. Besides some hair, the paper towel is pretty clean. It still looks mostly white. Since it's light, mopping steps is pretty easy. This is my bathroom tile floor. It moves very smoothly on the tile floor. I hadn't swept up the floor first, so there is a lot of hair and little particles. To remove the mop, just step on both sides of the mop and pull the handle up. That might not work. which does not work. It's supposed to work, but that's not working. <laughs> it's better to do it the way I just did it. Pull it right off of the red part. Just push this down and it'll pull off. After you've washed it, attach it the same way. It's 
snap all three parts in. Just press all three parts until you hear the snap. The bucket just has the one area, it doesn't have separate areas for clean and dirty water. So if you dirty up this water, you have to dump it out and put in clean water. Even with the water, the bucket's not very heavy to carry. It does tilt to one side, but you can see the water doesn't even come up halfway in the bucket, so you're not gonna spill anything. You can wash the mop by hand in warm water or put it in your washing machine. It is recommended to replace the mop every three months. I put this in the washing machine and used warm water. When the cycle was done, I just lay it on the counter to dry. Don't put this in the dryer. The soy sauce came out. It's clean, white, and still fluffy. The bucket I just washed out with some warm soapy water and rinsed. So the best part about the mop is the hands-free wringing. It's great for people who don't want to touch dirty mops with their hands. Also, if you have trouble wringing out mops. The pedal does not feel flimsy. But since it is plastic, I wouldn't be too rough with it. It is a light duty mop. I wouldn't use it for heavy spills or lots of dirt and grime. It's easy to move the bucket around. It's lightweight even with the water in it. One thing to remember when you mop is to make sure that the arrow is pointed forward. If you face the mop another way, it's not going to mop smoothly. If you want to try out this mop, I'll put a link right below this video. As always, I hope you found this review useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.